In this video, we present some really simple techniques to write an equation for a line given some data. So now that we've seen how to do this when we have two points, let's just for good measure see how to do this when we have one point and the slope. Really, the ideas work out quite similarly. I'm looking at the same line again, though this time instead of giving two points, I've given one point and the slope. And I want to know without just saying, oh yeah, I already know the equation for the line, I want to know whether I can use this information to easily write down the equation for the line. Well, let's first do it a little bit more in this vein. I know that I'm going to have some sort of 3 multiplied by some sort of x because I do have this slope of 3. And what I'd like to do now is just make sure that when I plug in x equals 5, I actually do get an answer of 3. So when I plug in x equals 5 right now, I have 15. So I'll just add a little correction factor and this seems to work out just fine. When I plug in 5, I now get 15 minus 12, which is 3. And now, using a method slightly more similar to this one, well, we can actually just do this even more directly now. We say, okay, I know that if I choose some other point x, y on the line, and I compute the rise and run between 5, 3, and x, y, I'll find that the slope is equal to 3. So in other words, I can again simply write down that between x, y, and 5, 3, I have a rise of y minus 3 and a run of x minus 5, and this slope should be equal to 3. So this is some straightforward ways to model lines given a little bit of data.